Hi everyone, my name is Alex. Today I'm going to be trying the Beauty of Joseon Green Plum Refreshing Cleanser. This product retails for $13. I'm kind of going through the line of Beauty of Joseon and wanting to try most of their products because I've had such a great experience with so many of them. This was the next one in line. I wanted to try out a cleanser from this brand. It seems to be a fairly simple cleanser, so I'm excited to see how this product performs. This product is vegan, cruelty-free, fragrance-free, alcohol-free, and comes in recycling packaging. The main things I'll be looking for with this product mainly include how does it cleanse, is it stripping to the skin whatsoever, and also just how it leaves my skin feeling. As for anything else, I will be continuing to do check-ins. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm here to give you all a quick check-in on this product. I have been using this product for a few days and it's seeming to be working really great for my skin so far. Now I do have combination skin and it's not too drying for my dry areas, but I am noticing it is a little bit more of a lather cleanser. It starts off as a beautiful gel and it's very gentle. Like it's just a very simple cleanser, but you can kind of see there, kind of starts to lather a little bit. It does foam up a little when you add water, but it's nothing too crazy stripping. Additionally, this product does do an amazing job at removing my sunscreen. You can see there, now that I've added water, it is foaming up a little bit. It doesn't really have a smell to it. It is just like a basic cleanser smell. That's the best way I can describe it. Now this product does have some amazing balancing ingredients in it, but I do see where this product could be a little bit stripping for dry skin. I do go in with more hydrating products after this, and I do use a pretty rich moisturizer around my dry areas because it is winter right now. I feel like this may be the perfect summertime cleanser. Winter, I'm not for sure. Sure. I usually like to go for a little bit more hydrating cleansers, but I'm not sure if this product will continue to work for me through the winter. As I add water, it begins to foam up even more. And yeah, my skin is feeling very normal right now. It's not really leaving any finish after I rinsed it off. It does feel like I need to go in with a moisturizer, but that is typical for a cleanser. I am enjoying this product so far. I'm gonna continue using it and then I'll check in again. So I will see you all in the next check-in. Hi everyone, I'm back to give you all my final thoughts on this product. I felt like this cleanser was a pretty decent, pretty simple cleanser. It wasn't anything that really stood out to me, but it also wasn't anything that I found much wrong with. I do feel like this is more intended for oilier skin type. It did seem to be a little bit more of a clarifying cleanser, which there's nothing wrong with that. If you do have more dry skin, you may be able to use this. I just personally found it to be a little bit drying, especially for the winter time. The more I would use this both day and night, the more my skin would be just a little bit stripped. I found that it was good as a nighttime cleanser because it did do great to remove any skin tint or sunscreen that I was wearing. It did a great job at removing that. So I do feel like this product is a pretty good cleanser. It does the job. It's not terribly stripping whenever I minimize to using it once a day. Now I did use this product during the winter time. So that could be why I found it to be just a little bit more stripping. It is something that I feel like would be a great summertime cleanser for me personally. If you do have more oily to combination skin, I would recommend this product for you. It is a very simple cleanser, but I mean, it's effective it does the job. If you do have more dry skin, I don't know if this product would be designed for you. I do feel like it may be a little bit too stripping for dry skin, but I still really enjoyed my experience with it. It has great ingredients in it, and I feel like it is a great nighttime cleanser for me. If you do have more combination skin and you feel it's a little bit too drying, maybe try easing off to once a day because it was doing amazing at removing my sunscreen. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more like this, make sure you subscribe because I post new videos every week and I will see you all in the next review.